Hi everyone, I'm Henry from Hemerson. Today I'm going to go through the workflow of capturing and processing 360 colorization data using our handheld scanner. 360 colorization can be beneficial because it adds extra context to the data that you capture. With that extra context, you can derive extra insights from the data, which provide even more value. Now, once you arrive on site, it's a good time to have a look at the project and scan to the effect that you want to achieve. So today we want to capture this platform. We want to capture it with a good colorization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down the platform in one direction with the GoPro face down. That's going to capture good colorization of everything from horizon down. Once I reach the end and come back, I'm going to flip the hover map so we have it GoPro up. And that's going to fill in all of the colorization of the points above the horizon. When I scan, I'm also going to keep a very rigid body position. So instead of rotating the hover map like this, I'm going to keep it quite rigid and make sure that I stay in similar pixels. So that means I can reduce the amount of image masking that I'm going to do in post-processing. So I'm going to keep it nice and rigid and move like this not like this. Now I've already set everything up so all I need to do is start the camera and the hover map at roughly the same time which I'll do now so I'm going to start it by pressing the physical button on the hover map and the camera. I'm going to hold it reasonably still for the first 10 seconds or five rotations of the LiDAR puck and then I'm going to rotate it around me 60 degrees either side to stimulate the IMU in both the camera and the hover map looks like this. And now we're ready to scan. Okay, so now we're back at the start location. All we need to do is turn off the hover map and the GoPro at roughly the same time uh, and go back to the office and process the data. Okay, so we've now exported the data off the hover map and also the GoPro and we've put all of the files into the same folder. So uh, this 360 video here is from the GoPro, everything else is from the hover map. So what we're gonna do now is uh, come into Aura we're going to click on process scan and add the data set where we navigate to the folder with all the information in it and then we're going to start this process. So that's now finished processing the SLAM with that data set. What we're going to do is click on process scan, come down to colorize and navigate to the same folder again. So now we're going to colorize that data set and because I've already put the 360 video file in the same location it's going to automatically find the correct file. I'm going to click on processing settings. Uh, typically I like to change the video start time and I like to skip the first 20 to 30 seconds of the scan because that's largely the um, calibration that we do, the rotating side to side. Here we can stipulate the frame extract interval, whether or not you want to want to have it done by time, distance or angle or any combination of these three. So you can have multiple selected at once. Today I'm just going to do it every one meter. Here we can change the quality of the outputs. I'm just going to reduce this to 15 millimeters and let's increase the colorization distance to 70 meters. I'm also going to select the image mask uh, to block out me. So I was standing behind the camera uh, and I've got this image mask set up here that works well for blocking me out when I'm holding it directly in front of me. So we're going to have this review frame before colorization so we can check that the frames are suitable and that we're happy with them. I'm going to click on save and start the process. Okay, so now I'm just going to review the frames and ensure I'm happy with them before we continue the processing. So I'm just going to pick a random frame here. Uh, and from this I can see the image mask is correct and it's completely masking me out. So there's going to be none of me being projected into the point cloud. 
so I'm happy with that. I'm going to click on resume and then it's going to colorize the point cloud. All right, so that's now finished colorizing the point cloud. I'm going to click on view and we are going to visualize the colorized result. Okay, so this is finished colorizing now. Uh, you can see the platform that we've captured along here. If I zoom in, we'll get an idea of what this capture looks like uh, and how well it's sort of been completed. You can see we've got full colorization from the roof of this platform right down to the bottom. We've even captured a, uh, a train that was in the station at the time. Um, so as you can see, very quick and efficient way to capture good colorization um, without too much effort. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the Emerson website. Thank you.